Hi folks, welcome to the lab. Today we're going to talk about safety, but not lab safety. We're going to talk about personal protective equipment, PPE. So this is the gear that you need to have to come into this shop and be safe to start welding. First thing we're going to start with is a coat. So we've got these jackets and there's all different kinds. Some of them are thin materials. Some of them have leather sleeves. So what I suggest for you, being as you're a beginner, is a full leather jacket. <clears throat> if we're TIG welding, we don't need as much protection as if we're stick welding or flux core welding. You're going to be doing all of it. So get a full leather jacket to go in and do some of this welding. Your instructors probably wear little thinner materials. That's for a couple reasons. Number one, we're not going to be welding as much as you. And number two, we have experience so we know how to protect ourselves. You need a good quality long coat with snaps that come all the way up and cover up your wrists. Second thing we're going to talk about is gloves. There's all kinds of different gloves. Now these thin little gloves are going to be used for TIG welding. They work great for TIG welding because we need a little more dexterity, we need a little more grip to do that fine welding. But when we're stick welding or flux core welding, you have to have gauntlet gloves, big thick leather ones. So we have thick leather gloves, thick leather jacket to protect yourself. Spend the money, get a good jacket and some good gloves, okay? Third thing is welding helmets. Now these welding helmets you can buy at Harbor Freight, for $40 or you can spend $700 on a welding helmet. You don't need the $700 welding helmet but don't get the $40 one either. The difference being the cheap ones aren't tested for impact. These good helmets they are functionable in a lot of ways but they also serve as face protection. So you can grind with these too. If you don't have a helmet that's a good rated helmet then you need to get a face shield. Because when we grind, we want to protect our face, not just our eyes. Helmets have all different settings, about 200 bucks, 180, 200, 220 bucks, you can buy to get a good quality helmet that provides all of the shade that you need and protection for grinding. Next thing, most important one, is safety glasses. You want to get Z87 rated safety glasses and these will say that a little stamp if you can see it in here or it'll say it in here but it's stamped Z87 rated safety glasses. What the Z87 does is it protects our eyes from the ultraviolet radiation generated by the welding arc. So it's not just for debris but also for the radiation cuts down the ultraviolet radiation to help your eyes from getting burned. Safety glasses are awesome, but when you're grinding and you're welding, particularly grinding, you also want to protect your face. So if I'm running a grinder and the disc blows apart and it hits me in the eye, great, great, my eye's protected. But what I want to have is face protection. So if that grinder comes and covers up my face, that grinder comes, falls apart, explodes, things happen, my face is also protected. The biggest thing in the shop is to protect your eyes and your ears. It's, it's, it's welding. We have inherent dangers with welding. But we can protect ourselves in a lot of ways. We need a good coat. We need good Z87 rated glasses. You need a decent welding helmet. You need two sets of gloves, one for TIG welding, one for the other welding. You need a face shield. You need long jeans with no frays on them because when the edge of your jeans are frayed, they catch on fire really easy. And guess when they catch on fire? While you're welding. So you're welding under your hood and all of a sudden your leg's getting warm and you're caught on fire. So you want jeans with no frays on them and you also need full length over the ankle leather boots. Steel toed leather boots with a leather tongue. You got to have boots, you got to have a jacket, you got to have good gloves, a good helmet, earplugs, ear protection, and safety glasses. These are the things that you need to have to come into this shop and work. These are, there's a lot of safety things we're going to go over in the shop, but this is your personal protective equipment. And if you're going to get into this trade, you're going to need this stuff anyway. 
So I know money's hard to come by because you're a student, but spend the money on good personal protective equipment. It's the first step of being safe around here.